Morning guys, welcome to this week's First Turf Talk. Uh, my name is Richard and this week we are back on site after a very busy BTME up at Harrogate last week. So a great show, great to catch up with so many customers, so many other suppliers and just lots and lots of great friends that we all make in this industry. So fantastic couple of days. So apologies if you've been looking on a Friday for the vlog and it's not been there. Uh, we did one last Monday from BTME, so we missed last Friday because we were busy sort of getting things put away and cleared up. But this week we're back to normal. So what are we going to look at this week? We're going to look at a subject that we've never looked at yet, and that is the subject of rolling. Now, rolling in not just turf production, but in turf management, is actually becoming quite, I guess, quite, quite a common occurrence now in many different forms. So we see sort of golf greens now where most golf clubs now will have a turf iron. So they're just given a little light roll, so they'll mow the mow the green then just give a little roll over just add a little bit of pace maybe put another foot or, foot or two of ball roll on there but also smooth the surface too so that's one sort of use of a roller more of a lightweight sort of more of an iron i guess but still a roller in a way also when we go to say cricket grounds for instance we will always see that you know that old traditional i guess kind of ride on almost like tarmac roller there so what we're looking for in a cricket wicket is obviously compaction so we're looking for ball bounce so a good heavy roller on there to just help firm that up. It's not great for turf agronomics, but what it is doing is creating a great cricket wicket. So something that we probably wouldn't use in general day to day. So also if we're doing things like laying turf, for instance, uh, normally if you're laying turf, you'd use laying boards. So that's usually enough to give a good sort of turf to soil contact for the roots. Obviously reduces the risk of things drying out too. So that works really, really well. If you can't use boards, then a light roll after turfing. As long as the ground conditions will take it, no problem at all. So lots and lots of different things that we can do. So what we're going to do now, we're going to have a quick walk out in the field and Rory's out here at the moment. He's actually rolling one of our fields. So we'll go and see what he's up to and we'll talk a little bit, bit more about why we're rolling in turf production. So we'll catch you shortly. Now one thing you might notice with the rolling out in the field here is you can see these big wide stripes. Now these are what we call landings. So what we're doing here, we're doing each stripe in maybe four or five bands. This allows Rory lots and lots of room for turning the roll around so we're not making any sort of unnecessary scuffing or damage on the headlands at all. So he's doing a really, really good job here. As you can see, pretty steady. Going to be out here for a day or two on this field. It's a pretty big one. But let's just go and take a little bit of closer look at the roller itself. As you can see, they're just nicely pressing the turf, doing a great job. And you probably noticed at the back of the two tyres, and these are obviously transport wheels. Obviously, we can't take this machine down the road on the roller itself for obvious reasons. So, really, really steady. Going to keep Rory busy for a day or two. We're just going to take a closer look now. We'll talk a bit more why we're doing it. As you can see now, Rory's taking a big wide turn there on the headland and the GPS in the tractor obviously allows him to do this. So you might just see the yellow dome there on top of the tractor. That's obviously picking up the satellite signals, allows Rory to drive in perfectly straight lines here. So he can sort of miss segments in the field and as he goes along he'll gently fill those in until he's covered the whole field. So you can see the roller itself, not quite sure the tonnage of this one but we do have several options on the farm really depending on what we want to do. Now this is quite a new sowing and recently we've had temperatures sort of around sort of minus seven you know some pretty sort of low, very very low temperatures for a few days at a time so this can cause a bit of heave in the soil particularly on the new new newish crops like this one so what Rory's is doing here is just pressing down any heave just recompacting the surface again so when the harvester comes in here the soil will be nice and level firm flat and will harvest a lot better so that's the reason for doing this field now in general obviously if we're looking at so not only is it great to get out here and see the machines going out in the fields here but we also get to see the red arrows so quite a common occurrence here they're based at RF Waddington I believe now just down the road from us so it's not unusual to see them out doing their training flights so an absolute privilege for us so the three guys here I don't know what numbers they are but they'll be getting ready for the summer air shows now I say getting their uh, routine perfected as I always do. So really, really great to see them, a real bonus. 
of course with rolling we can look at the negative impacts too so we talk about things like compaction for instance which we know again for turf agronomics is not ideal you know we're quite often we're, aer we're aerating we're vertidraining and things like that on golf courses to decompact but what we've got to remember even with a roller of this size it is only compacting probably the first couple of inches of the soil so in the case here where we're just trying to just press down a little bit of frost lift we may also just use them gently a slightly lighter one maybe just to firm up a harvest crop uh, just we tend to find that things harvest better just with a slightly firmer surface we get a slightly better roll so that's another reason why we might do it so we have a selection of rollers here at Tillers. I'm not quite sure how many we've got, but all different weights, all different applications, widths, depending on the, what we're trying to achieve. Now, we may also use a roller on a new cultivation. So we might use a flat roller, maybe just to stop the wind blow, just help press the new cultivation down, just to reduce that risk. Or we may use something like a Cambridge roller, which if you don't know is similar to the flat, flat roller here, but it obviously has grooves on it. That's great for sort of final sort of rolling down just presses the seed into the bed but also the ridges also help to break up any sort of remaining little clumps that might be around and it works really really well obviously again in negating that wind blow so that's told us a little bit about rolling today like i say in turf not just production but also turf management now whether it be the turf iron which is just a gentle almost like an iron roll or whether it's something a bit more heavyweight like rora's using here today they all have their application they all have their place but all these rollers here, other than those using sort of cricket wickets, we're not using them for compaction, we're using them for functionality and production. So I hope you enjoyed that video guys. Um, if you enjoy the content then please like, share, subscribe to Tillers Turf TV, it doesn't cost anything and you'll see lots more videos on there so take a look at our back catalogue as well if it's your first time on here. But in the meantime have a great weekend everybody, we'll catch you next week, take care.